I'm about to get my hair done. I'm so excited. Well, I have extensions, so I'm supposed to get them moved up like every six to eight weeks. That hasn't happened. I don't know why my neck looks so weird. Anyways, I'm um, like praying this girl like saves my hair because my hair has looked so bad. I feel like, I feel like when my hair isn't done, I just feel a fucking mess. So I'm so excited. I will be back and I will show you the result. And this is the final fucking look. I'm so happy with it. We did a gloss and she moved up my extensions. They do look a little bit shorter, but I think that's just cause like literally my extension. So they're supposed to be like tied to your fucking head. My extension was down to my fucking ear. It was like right here, but she fucking slayed it. Today is Thanksgiving. I wasn't going to make a video, but I thought I would just kind of like share my day because I didn't spend Thanksgiving and also holidays alone. So maybe it could be helpful to someone who also spends the Thanksgivings alone because it's okay. You aren't alone, even though it feels like it. Yeah, so sorry if my energy is just kind of like depleted today. I'm just a little bit, um, you know trying to make the best do last thanksgiving i literally made like a full turkey dinner like i made turkey mac and cheese like baked mac and cheese homemade cranberry sauce homemade mashed potatoes like i was injecting the turkey with the butter type shit this year i kind of just wanted to chill out also i'm in my swimsuit because i was trying to take pictures this morning usually i don't care about taking pictures alone like i don't really care but today, since it was Thanksgiving, there were so many people and I had woken up late. My like smoke detector alarm like kept like beeping. So I literally had to rip it out of the wall. Ugh. It was a bit of a morning, but it's okay because you gotta make the most of it, you know? So I did go to Target and I got two trays for my charcuterie that I'm gonna try to use tonight. So this is the first one. This is the leaf charcuterie board that I got. I have like a whole collection now of charcuterie boards. I thought this would be perfect for like Thanksgiving. I also picked up these. I was gonna use them because I wasn't sure if I had like little bowls, but these are too like Christmassy, I feel. Like these are too Christmassy. So I don't know if I'll be using these, but I think I might use these um, little bowls that I have. I usually like to plate out my charcuteries first before I go. This is my outfit for today. Well, it was my outfit for today. I don't know, I think I'm gonna wait to do the charcuterie until later. Just cause like, it gets really hot in Miami. It's like only 11. Wait, what? I'm gonna look up the weather right now. Oh, it's a little bit cold today. I'm saying that when it's like literally 77. Usually it's like 80, so. I have like a list on my phone, but I'm going to share some things that you can do if you're spending the holidays alone. First one I'm doing today, charcuterie in the park, or you can like go to the beach, you can go to wherever is close by. Just like have a little cute charcuterie dinner. Next up, make yourself dinner, like make yourself a Thanksgiving dinner or like perfect a dish that you love to make. I've also been wanting to try that like a turkey thanksgiving dinner in a pan so it's like you cook it in one pan but it looks really good um next up hot girl walk if you don't have a family like me i went on a walk this morning and i was just like wait there's so many people out today so like it's like i cannot see these families right now this one's kind of deep but like you could create a new aesthetic for yourself or like a new i guess identity Sometimes I just get down in the dumps. So sometimes creating a new aesthetic for yourself can be beneficial because it gives you something to focus on other than your current circumstance. It gives you something that you can actually control, you know? I'm very big on my individuality because it's the only thing that I have control over. So that's a good one. Um, take pictures. You could have like a cute little photo shoot. Have an art day. I actually have... Um, a junk scrapbook that I just started. 
I'll actually show this, but this is like one of them. This is when I went to a Lana Del Rey concert recently. Plane ticket, my hotel ticket, my wristband. I did like a song of the month. Also like made like an envelope that I can read later on. So I also made these envelopes. They're like... I'm making a video on these, so... I just love to make these envelopes. I think they're so cute. This is my favorite, the bows. If you're into the arts, doing crafts can be helpful, especially like cute little aesthetic things like that. Next, you can have a movie marathon. You can just get yourself a bunch of cute snacks, have a movie marathon. It's always good to like distract yourself. And you can also like make a cute little cocktail or mocktail. I will show the process of how I make my charcuterie today too. It's a long process, honestly, but it's good because it like takes up my whole day. So, busy day, busy, busy day. So I'm about to assemble my charcuterie board, but let me just show you what we're working with. I like to use crackers, um, but this is like pretty much what I'm putting on it this time. And then this is my charcuterie board like collection. <laughs> I'm addicted, but I think I'm just gonna use these two today. I keep getting emotional. But it's okay, because this is what I'm wearing. I wasn't able to get a tablecloth today, so I'm literally just going to be using my big blanket. <laughs> Everything is closed. I literally just went, and I probably should have gotten it be beforehand, but I just totally forgot. So I'm just like... But I also don't want to not go, because if I stay here too long, that's when I start to get too emotional. Thanksgiving. I literally went to bed at 8 last night. I'm just not having it. At 21. <laughs> also, ignore it. I look like shit. It is crazy what lip liner can do. You literally just saw my lips transform. No lipstick today. Just the Becca gloss. It literally like matches the pH to your skin matches the pH of your skin. It's literally the best lip gloss I've ever used. Dang it, that shit's hot. It's good enough. This is the look. Now I'm just gonna get ready and go.